no name, Alex speaking, and today's video is going to be a reorganizing all my CDs plus a mini CD collection if I'm feeling spicy. So the way I organize my CDs it needs to change a little because I am getting four new albums soon. I'm getting all Slipknot because I've had a weird obsession with them and I already have two of their albums, not gonna lie. I already went out about those because I'm a fan of them. I'm getting All Hope Is Gone Friday and I need to be ready. So let's show off my CD collection real quick because I have a problem. Here's stack one. Some of these aren't even mine. I just sold them to my parents. Stack two, these are all mine. I know for a fact these are all mine. Oh no, everything's fine. Okay, so here are all my CDs you can even see. And we're gonna do this down here. So I need to empty these. Oh, there's a CD sticking out there. Okay, so do this. There's so new albums coming out, like Black Bride's new album's releasing. Slipknot's coming out with a new album soon. I know this because I've been watching a lot of Slipknot stuff, and Corey Taylor talked about it a lot in an interview, November. And there's speculations on what the album actually is, and that makes me a little excited, but... So I'm not going to listen to anything like that. I'm hoping. It'd be cool if they did a re-record of their very first album, Make Fee Kill Repeat. Do you know cool that would be? I'm sure people get mad and be like, oh, well, Joey's not on it. It doesn't work. And it's like, can't show that one as my oh, school on it. Oh, God. All of the Black Bow Brides albums. I have to fix them, too. Alright, so. There's my three stands. Rock. Metal. Some pop, uh, one musical theater in there. I wanna get more, like, I'm gonna get Hamilton, but I don't think I'm gonna end up getting that. I 100% have a problem. <laughs> this one. This is my Black Phil Brides self titled album. That's still not playing in the background. <laughs> playing my on repeat, and this just happened to be the first album, or the first song, which is really ironic because I was listening to this. Oh my god. Hey, focus on me. Also, my next job, my next idea was to just get new cases, like plastic cases, just to get new ones, because um, a lot of mine are cracked and damaged, and I would just like to have new ones, but my mom said it was a waste of money, and I kind of agree with her, because, like, I don't see a point in doing it now. Also, as a CD collector, this is, like, my new prof hobby now, this and photography. <laughs> so this has a weird print where this is, like, upside down. But, like, I can't do anything about it, if, so I want to do that. So, I'm not going to do that, but that'd be funny. But, um, I have found out some pet peeves that I'm going to share today while I do all of this. So, first pet peeve. Sleeve cases. These cases. I hate these, the sleeves. Because, all-time low, these, because CD comes out way too easily. Three of my all-time low CDs have this, and it's all for the Future Hearts. All for the Future Hearts. I have three Future Hearts albums. I have regular, deluxe, and um, their live CD. I like when cases come with this sleeve, but it gets very annoying with these. Because uh, I can only put them in certain spots, and they're thicker. But I like the protection the case gets, because my trench case is perfectly fine. I have not looked at the CD in forever. Hello. I don't look at some of the CDs a lot. I don't have a CD player. That's my next investment. Christmas. I also get annoyed. This part up here where the sticker was, it's all goopy. That annoys me. This is reincarnated with Motion to White. I have all Motion to White albums. Yeah, so this is my nothing personal album I got for like $5 at Best Buy. This is when they're gonna remove all their CDs and yeah. The, the sleeve itself is all busted, but the CD case itself is perfectly fine. Um, yeah, I wasn't liked in middle school, if you couldn't tell. So. Plan of action here is this could be a fun video. So now we're gonna organize them into bands like All Time Low, Motion Soul White, Black Hill Brides, um, you know, all the albums. So we're gonna do a time lapse of that. Okay, we're all sorted. I can't have the speed it's up because I really only have 20 minutes to film. So, uh, Black Hill Bride, or no, Black Hill Brides, Motion Soul White, uh, Panic. So we started Chris Avail together, Fall Out Boy, Five Sauce, Terminal Pilots, All Time Low, Foo Fighters, Kiss and, Fe Kiss and Motley Crue together just because I always associate them, Mo Metallica, Of Mars and Meta together, Ask No One Just With Them, Shine Down, Shinadown, whatever I'm called, Foo Fighters, Green Day, MCR, Billy, 
musical, and then one Pink Floyd album. This is the best Pink Floyd album ever. It's The Wall. I also own the movie to it. <laughs> Don't ask. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a, for one rack, I can hold a lot of CDs. Um, but since I'm getting more, I'm running out of room in my rack. And also, I'm getting a new Black for Brides album soon, as I said, they're coming out with a new one. Same with Slipknot one. Slipknot albums right now are on my desk with my Sid Wilson Funko Pop. Vlog coming about that soon, don't worry. I already got you covered. But he's with We Are Not Your Kind in Iowa, which is the two Slipknot albums I have. And so once I get all my Slipknot albums, they will be getting put on one of these because I can't keep keep six albums on my desk. And I, do, I don't want to get a quarter tail with Funko Pop and do what I'm doing with Sid. So we're just going to keep it like that until I get all hope it's gone. I can put that with that. And then once I get all the other ones together, then we'll figure out something there, but we're gonna keep it. So let's start, all right, organizing time. So we'll put, I'll make a whole separate thing for metal music. So metal, um, emo slash pop punk, and then classic rock and pop get their own thing. All right, cool. So I put it from newest release at top to oldest, so it goes down. Okay, cool. So, I finished putting all my CDs up. This is how they look. So, let's start off with what's... Hi, so, a little weird turn of events here, but I just wanted to refilm this part because I didn't like how it turned out in the editing part of it. But, um, video's almost done. So I'm just gonna quickly go through what this is and then do an outro, and that'll be the end of this video. So we have all my pop, punk, and emo albums here. We have all my metal albums here, and then all my Black Phil Brides ones. My Slipknot ones are on my desk over there with my Sid Wilson Funko Pop, classic rock, musical theater, and all my poppy ones. So, quick thing, there is a vlog coming soon. I'm in the works of editing that. I'm editing this video as we speak. So I expect this video, like, while you're watching it, but expect the next video very soon. I'm on spring break right now. Uh, in that vlog that I'm editing, it's from like last month, I unboxed that Funko Pop a necklace and the squishy thing, so be on the looks for that. Uh, no promises that it's gonna come out anytime soon. I'm really bad at keeping up with my editing. But that is it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed. Any recommendations for what you want to see me do, drop in the comments below. I will show you. So, yeah. And that is it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed. Give this video a like. And I will see you all next time. Subscribe on my previous time. And peace. That was the fastest outro I've ever done. Okay, peace. The